It's the Las Vegas Aces against the Phoenix Mercury. Tip-off coming up in just a couple of moments. Lindsay Allen out off campus after an inconclusive positive test yesterday. Danielle Robinson takes her place. Tip one by Griner. And we're ready to play. Las Vegas won two out of the three meetings last year. Whole new cast for Phoenix, Skyler Diggins-Smith. Knifes her way inside and scores the first basket. Knock down some shots, they'll help open up some driving lanes. McCautry misses the mark. Brianna Turner, now over to Tarasi. Pull up three, that's good. That's what you want for the WNBA's all-time leading scorer, Diana Tarasi hitting. Seeing the personalities of De'Erika Hamby and Asia Wilson come out asking each other questions in the press conference. Averaging a double-double in league play early on. Tarasi draws the foul, won't get the shot. One of the best free throw shooters in the game going to step up for two with her team leading by four. She hasn't been to the free throw line very much, but she doesn't miss when she gets there. And... Kayla McBride it looked like she had a pretty good defensive position there, but Toronto Wednesday night taking a much more aggressive approach. Neil Robinson getting some extended minutes, playing off that drag screen in the middle of the floor. This layup by Robinson and another fast break layup for Cunningham. Lost the handle. Yvonne comes up with a steal and now up ahead to Griner. To the basket. Hunted by Hamby to get the pass around Griner. Hartley, catch and shoot is good. To dig a little bit deeper into his bench without Lindsey Allen. And another three ball. He roll off the rim. The second one of the quarter for Vegas. Strong drive and Diggins Smith collects it under bucket. Vaughn the slip. And gets it to go plus the foul. Well, from out there. Every time I see Sugar Rogers, I want to know what her golf handicap is because she's a usually an avid golfer when she's not playing in the bubble and working on her master's degree. How about the orange hoodie? It looks good on Devin with his mask and a lot of players in the NBA supportive of the W. Now they, those guys know how hard these women work. Try to help them get the respect that they deserve. Diggins Smith yeah. launches, then connects on her third three of the half. Vegas does defensively. They guard inside out, they go underneath that ball screening action, and Phoenix knows it, and they're ready to score. Another leak out to Cunningham. Diggins Smith, who's been on fire, dishes to Vaughn. Keep working and keep demanding the basketball, and they got to get some stops on this end. Tarasi. Oh, they're all dropping in. The friendly rolls off the rim. She's comfortable. She is confident. Diggins Smith off the screen has space. That, that's incredible. That's a, a really brilliant number. And if you could keep doing that. That's what Three and a half to play, third quarter. Phoenix looking for its first win of the 2020 season. Brianna Turner, untouched to the rim. Robinson goes right by the basket, can't finish. Brianna Turner so active. She really can move without the ball. Nice pump fake by Hartley. Moves into the lane and gets it off the back of the rim. Let's see if they can get Diana Tarasi a look here. There it is. She buries it. Timeout, Las Vegas. Their collective voice to with the Social Justice Council that Asia Wilson is a part of that's playing in this game tonight. Still, while we wait, 
for justice on that topic, Debbie. At least the NCAA yesterday announced that college athletes this year will be able to put certain names and phrases on the back of their jerseys and wear patches. As yet. When Phoenix plays like this as a group, do you think they're going to be very tough to beat this year? Well, I don't know many teams that shoot 56 from. I mean, did you see the reaction after she hit the shot? She's like, come on. Tarasi around the defense. Knows it's her chance to take it all the way to the rim. Now with 17 points tonight, everybody was getting involved when the ball movement looking like that. They limit the twit. They don't know if they can come back. And she said, you know, I got to do this not only for me to get back out there and win a championship, but I want to show these younger players you can come back from this. You might not be as fast or as athletic. See, Vegas keeps the weak side busy, takes away that help at the rim. It's a really well-designed play. Nearly intercepted by McCautry. Griner right around Swords. with a great steal and one. He throws it up and it goes in. Caught Las Vegas napping and makes them pay. That's a big bucket for energy here at the end of the game. That's a hustle play by a savvy veteran in Skylar Diggins Smith. Shooting one. And see that, that's not Jackie Young's fault necessarily. I mean, she does need to come back to the ball, but Carolyn Swords has got security for the Suns and for the Mercury, I'm guessing. Phoenix has kicked it in a fourth gear stints, partly inside the arc. Won't go. Now back out to Tarasi. Whoop and dish. Makes it a 16 point advantage. Las Vegas trying to make things interesting. Dumping it into Wilson. She is denied by Turner. Her third block of the game. Corner 30 is good. Timeout Vegas. Phoenix with his 11th triple of the night. All but ices this one and puts punctuation on its first win of the season. Phoenix has taken the lead and controls by 14 late. And finally, for Phoenix fans, they can exhale now that two of their big three have contributed in a big way. There is that sense of urgency always looming, but when you can put together four quarters like this, do you see a team that can beat them? Oh, I think there's a lot of good teams. As we've seen in several games so far in the 2020 WNBA season, it's not over yet. Got to take care of the basketball if you're Phoenix. Nice nice. Nice. Victory this year. 62 combined points for the big three of Brittany Griner, Diana Taurasi, and Skylar Diggins-Smith. And that's got to make Coach Sandy Brondello happy.